Hey guys, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we will specifically focus on how can you create a credential asset not by passing fixed values. For example, here last time you have seen I was passing the fixed values. Rather, I would like to utilize a variable to make it dynamic. So how can I use a variable instead of fixed values and create a credential? Let's see that in this video. Before we get started, I would recommend anyone who had not watched the playlist UiPath Orchestrator HTTP request, you need to go through the introduction before trying this out. So please do watch it in case you have missed watching them. So here I have created two different variables and these are the default values that I have kept. Now these values might even come from an Excel file. You might have got an Excel file where you have got values and you need to read it and pass it to a variable. So at the end it will come to a variable. Now this variable I need to find a way to write it in this one. So last time we have created this credential. I am going to exp you know slightly expand it so it will become easy to see and understand. So here there are two different important points. One is the credential username and the credential password and the value type we had kept credential last time. Now here the credential username, I have to use the variable username. So there is a specific syntax that you need to follow. So remove this admin value, the default uh, fixed value. And here I am going to use the double quote. Look at it, how, what I am doing. First thing is I have used two double quotes. Then I am going to use a plus sign. And here I will start writing the variable. So you can see the variable name has automatically appeared. And then use a plus sign. Getting it? So I got my username for this particular key. Second thing, we will work on the credential password, which is currently there in the PWD, right? Same thing, I'm going to omit this value and then use two double quotes and then use a plus sign and start writing the variable. You can see the variable has appeared and use a plus sign. So this is the format guys. Okay, single quote and then double quote plus sign variable plus sign again double quote single quote. This is how you write it. Now let's change it the name of the uh, this one to six. Okay, I want to create a new asset name test six. Right, so if you see my orchestrator here, there's no test six. I would like to create a new one. So let's see if this one is working or not. Let us first save it. Okay, so you saw everything, right? How it is written. A single comma, if you miss a single um, quote you have missed, then it will become a problem. So ensure you have written it perfectly fine. Okay, you cannot go with a single error. So save it. Now let me run it and see if it is creating a new asset or not. Okay, so the execution has started and completed. Let's quickly go to the orchestrator, refresh this, and you can see the text 6 asset has been created. Now, let me click on edit just to see if it has created the values or not. So, you can see admin and the password will, anyways, will, will be remain hidden once the test is created, it will not be shown. And this password gets stored in the credential store. Okay, so all these are fine. So, you can see everything got created as we need it. Okay, so thank you guys. Now after this, you have a question. What if you already have an existing asset and you would like to change something, right? You would like to change uh, the value of the username or the password got changed. You would like to update that. So how can you edit an asset is going to, we are going to learn in the next video. Now comment how many of you were successfully implemented this specific concept. Please do comment. Let's move on to our next topic.